I was a Beatle fan like millions of other kids around the world. And John Lennon was spotted at the Toronto airport. And at seven in the morning, I went to the top of this hotel, knocked on every door until I found him. Just sort of burst in and sat down where there was a tripod right here. And I looked up and sitting on that couch were John Lennon and Yoko Ono. I said, uh, John, can I do an interview about peace and take it to kids in my school? And he says, yeah, great, ask away. And I did. And that's when I realized that my life was gonna change. I mean, I was a sensitive kid, I was a loner, but uh, I was touched by the Beatles and, um, and it had a magical influence. I spent decades being a lawyer and uh, I did not like the world. I felt that the promise that I always felt about myself as a, as a, as a young kid, meeting John Lennon and doing all those things, was a joke on me. And I wasn't really anything special. I uh, took an overdose of, uh, of pills. I mean, to put my kids through that was just a horrible, I was so horrible thing to do. In that swirl of despair and self-hatred came this idea just to do something artistic with my experience, with my life and what I had, uh, the tape. I wanted some artists to put their own perspective on the story that changed my life. Josh was the animator and director and, and had a very strong vision of where it was going to go. You know, the words are so uh, simple and, uh, and yet profound, and the team allowed them to breathe. France, anyway, they're at it. What they do is they smash the place down, and the building turned out to be what it promised militantly. That's uh, take Russia, France, anyway, they're at it. What they do is they smash the place down. I'll continue to be a lawyer but by far the most important pursuit is the creative element. This guy who I am and was, uh, who became a lawyer, ultimately um, shook off the shackles of accepted behavior and um, made a different reality for myself.